When you hear ozone, the first thing most people think about is the hole in the ozone layer, right? And that's bad. So if the hole in the ozone layer is bad, then ozone must be good, right? Well, it's complicated. Let's first look at what this ozone hole is. A hole mightn't be the best way to describe it. Really, it's an overall thinning of the ozone layer that's particularly bad over the poles, especially over Antarctica. How did this happen? One particular cause was the emergence of refrigeration in the late 1920s and the invention of CFCs, also known as Freon-12. CFCs last a long time, easily long enough to float up into the ozone layer. Once there, they effectively eat ozone. So why is an ozone hole bad? Well, ozone stops harmful UV radiation from the sun. So less ozone, more UV radiation, more skin cancer for us. Well, why don't we just produce ozone to replace it? Well, first, the atmosphere is big, like really big. The ozone layer itself is in the stratosphere, about 25 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. So there's no real way to get ozone up there that isn't comically impractical. We could just emit it down here, right? There are a few problems with this. We live in the troposphere, the bottom layer of the atmosphere. These layers really inhibit air mixing. It takes about 10 years for air to move up to the ozone layer. And since ozone only lasts a few weeks at most down here, it would never even make it up there. But the biggest problem is that ozone is a poison to both us and plants. Turns out breathing ozone is pretty terrible on the lungs. It's estimated that exposure to ozone contributes to hundreds of thousands of premature deaths worldwide every year. Moreover, it's estimated to annually cause $20 billion in crop damage globally. So it's good up in the stratosphere, but bad down here. Well, there's more. Ozone is really reactive, and because of this, you can use it to clean things. For example, if you have a really bad odor in your house, you can fumigate your house with ozone. Same goes for drinking water. In places where drinking water smells, you can use ozone to clean it. Well, it does the same thing in the atmosphere. It helps clean pollution from the air. But as we go higher, there's another problem. Turns out it's also a greenhouse gas like CO2. Now, because ozone only lasts a few weeks, it's not a global greenhouse gas, but it can definitely have a warming effect on local scales, such as cities or states. All right, what do we do about ozone? Well, for the ozone layer, the world has actually come together to sign the Montreal Protocol in 1987 and agreed to ban CSCs and other chemicals that deplete the ozone layer. Signed and ratified by 197 nations, the Montreal Protocol has been called perhaps the most successful international agreement to date. And while it's still early to make any concrete conclusions, the hole seems to have stopped getting worse and has even begun to show potential to recover in 60-ish years from now. For ground-level ozone, countries try to control it, but this is no easy task. Unlike other pollutants, CO2, NOx, SO2, ozone isn't emitted. So a state can't tell a power plant to stop emitting so much ozone. Instead, it's a product of other emissions mixing together, particularly emissions from cars, power plants, and factories. Worse, ozone levels are affected by humidity, light, volatile organic compounds, lightning, traffic patterns, windiness, and so on. And even when a country is able to gain a little control over their ozone production, there's always cross-border ozone. Then there's the whole issue of climate change. As the planet warms up, we can expect to see more ozone. Okay, so how much ozone are you breathing right now? Well, it's hard to say. It's analogous to the wind in the way that it changes all the time. Regulations in North America state that it should be kept below around 75 ppb outside. That's 75 molecules for every billion molecules. So ozone has a complicated story. In some places it's good, in other places it's bad, like in our cities. To review, ozone stops harmful radiation here, but warms up the atmosphere here, then helps clean the atmosphere here, and tries to kill us here. <laughs>